Hey, what's going on tribe? Welcome to my channel. So gang, this is gonna be one of them crazy matrix talk videos. Um, because the last few days, I've been thinking about it for a while actually, you know, um, and I was talking to a few people about it this week and literally I watched a video um, like a few minutes ago and it literally was like confirmation about what I was thinking, if that made sense. So I was like, oh yeah, all right, cool. Let me just do a video on my take or whatever. So basically, um, ever since a kid or whatever, I've always known that um, things have just been different in it. Like I just see the world totally different and I just don't resonate with the world, right? Um, so even um, in school, like they, they like to give you labels as like this being disruptive or whatever. Um, so I was talking to my friend now and a few people about it um, just in general. And what I come to realize is that the system likes to label people that don't fit into their category or box. So if you're in school and you're not sitting on the mat, sitting down and shutting up, um, and you've got more energy, you've got more energy, and you're a bit more fidgety, they're more likely to label you as having ADHD, should we say? Or if you've got some form of learning kind of disability, like you, I don't know, struggle to regulate your emotions or. Um, I don't know, you have a photographic memory or something like that, or you, you can't speak properly or you can't write properly, right? They'll label, label you as having like autism or something. Just They'll just like to label you with having something, right? So just because you don't fit into that little category of box, right? Um, they'll say, yeah, that you, they'll give you some form of label, right? But that label doesn't define who you are, right? And from my point of view not even my point of view everyone that i've known yeah i know and that i've come across yeah um who's been labeled with some have with having some form of label have this like should i would say but they, we've all got this kind of spiritual side to us right and we see the world totally different right so i think it was like was it what's the day today it's saturday today so all this week i was kind of um went skating and then I was speaking to a few people and that, and I was like, you know what, yeah, my friend mentioned it years ago. And she was like, oh yeah, you might be on the spectrum. And I never actually thought of it, yeah. And then I literally started, all this week, I've been meeting complete strangers. Like literally, I was in the park, like the woods, right? Um, like I'm here again now, right? We're in the woods once again. So I was in the woods and then next minute I come across like frogs, yeah? Frogs were crossing my path, literally, yeah? So I was like, all right, cool. So I bent down to take pictures of the frogs or whatever. And then next minute, this woman started talking to me and we just literally started kicking off this conversation. We were talking for a good hour or whatever. And then she said she had um, autism or whatever. And I was like, oh, they've diagnosed me with a whole heap of labels, right? But um, now I'm starting to actually research it and stuff. Like these times I might actually be on the spectrum and that, you know, um, it's just interesting because like, I was looking at researching it last night and um yeah a lot of things were actually kind of resonating in that but um yeah the label i've never um can, i don't i don't agree with labels because labels define most people in society labels define who they are and stuff so but that's not how i function and shit man like yeah labels don't define who you are um so yeah anyway um everyone that i know who's um been labeled with having i don't know ADHD, autism, BPD, um, OCD. We all have this kind of, we see the world totally differently, right? We don't resonate. And we've all, everyone that I've come across, yeah, on my journey, and this is over years, right? Um, we have this inner knowing and we have like this spiritual connection, right? This is gonna sound so weird. Um, yeah, so we have like this spiritual connection, right? So we we see the world totally differently, right? And yeah, we just don't fit in. Yeah, we just don't fit in, man. So yeah, you could label yourself as being the black sheep or whatever. And um, what the what, the video that I was watching was basically saying she was basically saying she was on the spectrum as well, but she don't go with labels as well, which was quite funny because. Um, that's exactly what I was thinking, right? So this video popped up, it was recommended. So I hit the video and it was literally saying everything that I was thinking. And I'm just like, it's like confirmation video, right? And then um, 
what she's saying she was basically saying um about not being like um about not agreeing with labels or whatever like blah 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 and she was basically saying that the people it from the system i'm just gonna say how she said it because she worded it really good um she was basically saying the people the people in the system basically yeah they put labels on people um because um we connect to higher states of consciousness right like i don't know like i've always had gifts right um i've always had this inner knowing and I don't know, the more I tap in and tune into myself, my gifts are coming more online, should I say. Like, the in, my intuition, my inner knowing, I don't know, like, getting messages and channeling and um, being a medium at times and stuff. Yeah, it's really interesting, right? So she was basically saying that um, they label you basically because you're tapped into more higher states of consciousness, right? And I was like, oh, that actually makes sense, right? And then... Um, they would label us as being unruly or uncontrollable, right? Because we don't fit in that category. And this is my experience. And I'm like, oh, it makes sense. Because, because well, this is my, my perspective or my, my view on it. Um, they would label you as being like the black sheep or being um, having some form of label and kind of, in a way, somewhat outcasted, yeah? Um, because you don't fit into the societal norms right but their societal norms is different to our normal right and our normal is actually the real normal if that makes sense not this constructed false illusion artificial world what they want you to believe in right so it's really funny <laughs> so they label us yeah for being like the black sheep or just being different the weirdos or i, I am i love the weird i've never been, uh, in all of my mo a good majority of my videos i've never classified myself as normal because i do not resonate with all this that is going on around here in it yeah um so yeah I, I yeah normal is an illusion right what is normal for the what is what is normal for the spider is chaos for the fly yeah remember that saying um so yeah um so just because they label you because you don't fit into their art, artificial world, right? With everything that's going on, just artificial, right? We're more tuned into the organic world, yeah? So turning within, trying to um, seek out more natural ways of being, more connecting with Mother Earth. Because right now there's two um, worlds coexisting, right? You have the artificial world and you have the organic world, right? And the dimensions are splitting. If you cannot feel that there is some shift and some stuff that is taking place, then... Um, I not envy you lot, but yeah, I did not. Is it envy? Is it envy? You guys are lucky, innit? That's all I'm saying. If you guys can't feel the shifts and things that are taking place, right? You guys are lucky, innit? Yeah, because the stuff is happening. We're at some, like I was saying, I've been saying it since like 2020. So, some, something really um, dramatic is happening on an energy level and when something happens on an energy level it then takes a few years to then manifest on a physical level right so yeah everything all, all, everything that's going down now something big is going to take place pretty soon things are happening anyway in general right but um yeah anyway moving on um yeah about the labels so yeah <laughs> it's just interesting like how the the labels um are there to kind of put people in categories and boxes and stuff um, when people ain't meant to be put in categories and boxes because everyone is unique, yeah? And <laughs> everyone is unique and everyone's soul is different and everyone's journey and... Um, yeah, everyone's journey is different, yeah? So don't be comparing yourself to others, right? Because your journey is different to mine and my journey is different to yours. Like, my life experience is different to yours and your life experience is different to mine. Um, this is why it's interesting because... Um, that's why there's like different realities, right? Because my reality is going to be totally different to yours based on my experience, right? So we're going to be seeing the world through totally different lenses, if that makes sense, right? Um, so there's different layers. The more healing you do, the more, the more healing and more um, inward you turn, the more layers you shed. So the more organic you become, right? So then you shed what you you shed density, right? So you raise raise your vibration. Funny enough. And you start, in a way, um, start becoming more minimal, 
if that makes sense. So you start needing, needing a lot less. So even when it comes to like food and stuff, you start needing a lot less food and the more, and then you start, just start needing a lot less things in general, right? It's just, it's hard to un- explain, right? Um, because like the more, like in the artificial world, they want you to be materialistic. Um, they want you to be a consumer, right? Consumerism, having to keep up with the Joneses, having to have the new thing, the new this and the new that. And by doing all this chasing, is actually taking you more away from yourself. So the less you, you the more you have, what's, it, what's the saying? The more things you have, the more things you own, the things end up owning you or something like that. Which is so true because people, <laughs> I think, <laughs> when was it? I think it was 22, yeah? I must have went, <laughs> this was when I was on shrooms. I must have come to the, um, come up to the woods or whatever to just grand and stuff and then there was a fun fair so I was like oh cool man I'm gonna just go on the highest ride or whatever just to do whatever because I'm a, I'm a big child at heart in it yeah and I think that's what what um you know another label is like most of us people that's been labeled we are actually actually big kids at heart yeah we've got responsibilities and stuff but we still keep that childlike essence within us right like kids are drawn to me in it because they, i got that childlike essence to me in it but most um people without labels they think it's just about adulting you gotta have this that and then you don't you can't have fun their idea of fun is going to the pub on the weekend um and you need to learn to have fun without substances yeah if you can't have fun without sub- substances you need to start questioning stuff because you should be able to have fun without with being sober if not then you need to question some certain things i'm not saying everyone but i'm just talking like if you can't just sit and be and just enjoy the moment sober then you, yeah you, yeah you need to start questioning stuff and for those people that don't know alcohol is actually a poison so every time you drink alcohol your body is actually rejecting it yeah when you start vomiting waking up with a hangover that's actually a poison so in the artificial world that's why alcohol and in the west is so promoted but ganja the herb that um that's why they call it we call it high yeah higher consciousness we're trying to get higher yeah raise up do you know what i mean but this is why they make the the ganja illegal yeah because it raises you up yeah it raise, helps you raise your vibration and it brings you out of the lower dimensions right but um most of this stuff that people are smoking these days is just gmo and artificial so it's not it's actually damaging them they think oh yeah this all this potent strong stuff and it's like mate like yeah, you're meant to get inspired by ganja and you're meant to um you're meant to get inspired by ganja and all this and that it can be coming <laughs> in the, into the wild and all that <laughs> crap me up fucking okay come on mate <laughs> crap me up but yeah so all this ganja that people are smoking it's actually bollocks and it's artificial and it's actually not good for their brain it's actually rotting their brain should we say <clears throat> Yeah, this weather is just getting on my nerves. Like when I went out earlier, it was like um, t-shirt weather. Yeah, then boom, get back home, raining. There was thunder and lightning literally five minutes ago. Mad, but um, yeah. So the whole listen, they've labelled man with a whole heap of things. Yeah, and yeah, because I don't fit into their categories and and their boxes and stuff. Um, which is totally fine on my end. Um, but yeah, don't let label for those people out there, don't let the labels define who you are because you are not the label. Yeah. Um, and I totally resonate with the, um, cause I've always had, even since a kid, I've always had the gifts. I've always had like inner knowings. I've just known stuff. Um, and it's interesting, like I'm not saying everyone, right? So take it with a grain of salt, but most people, that have labels right have some form of gifts yeah like me i can i i I can mimic people and that's one one of my gifts as well like i can watch someone do something and i can literally copy them but when it comes to the learning side like the reading and writing side then it's it, it that's more of a problem for me right but so um it's more, I'm more of a visual learner, right? Some people are more visual, some are more, some people are more intellectual. So um, it's all different. And another thing is the school system. People think the school system is about you being smart, yeah? The school system is actually about your memory, how much you can retain and then just feed that back to them. So if you've got a photographic memory 
and good at retaining information, all you've got to do is just um, put the information back in, back out into a format that they will understand. Yeah, and then you get you get your you get what you want. <laughs> so there's ways there's ways around um, <laughs> there's ways around things. It's interesting. It's very interesting. But um, yeah, it's only a little quick video. Um, yeah, based on these labels and things because they like to just label people and then people get a certain label and then it's like oh yeah the whole world's ending and, da, 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 and it's like what no see what i'm saying like it was just literally the sun's starting to come out now <coughs> uh, yeah the weather's just getting up my nerves on off on off um yeah it was only a little quick video about um yeah labels don't let labels define who you are um and tune in man try to disconnect from this artificial world as much as possible man because yeah yeah there's there's a separation in dimensions at this at, at this time and um, one of them <laughs> one of the dimensions is imploding in it so yeah just be mindful but anyway gang yeah i'm gonna hit you guys up real soon anyway because it's only meant to be a quick a quick video anyway peace love and that tribe